Hello there, Internet. My name is White Dragons, and welcome back to You Will Die Again Mod Pack. Oh, you just have that in your hand. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, uh, what's in today's episode? Um, I'm learning to get rid of this during the introduction, so be patient with me. So, in today's episode, we're going to be doing a couple of different things. Um, after the last debauchery with the villagers, and FYI, don't put yourself on peaceful mode. It is a terrible thing. Um, we need to do something about the monsters that are coming to the wall now because the excessive amount of villagers I have. We need to utilize that. We need to do something with that. So that's what we're doing today. That's what we're going to do today. Now I'm going to put a hold on the paint job because that literally is a project into itself that is going to take time to do. So I've already fixed up a little, a little, a little bit of something that you, you know, off camera you have to kind of do, um, and I'll show it to you. Yeah, no, can't show it here. I don't know what's going on here, so let me go ahead and do this. Reload the chunks. There we go. Um, <clears throat> so this little contraption here is a very Cool contraption. This is a uh, damn. I had it in my head. Now it's gone. Uh, mine factory. Did I spell that wrong? I sure did. Mine factory. There we go. This is a conveyor belt, and I dyed it red because it's danger. Uh, now the conveyor belt's pretty easy. You just need a. Uh, you need a precision sledgehammer to change its angle, and that's pretty much it. By the way, I have turned off my fit uh, because my fit kind of screws with the view. I'll turn it. Uh, what happened here? Oh, somebody got through. Whoa! Somebody got through. Wild. That is wild. Oh, wow. Somebody got through hard. Uh, okay. Uh, first off, a quick update. I'm sorry. I apologize for this, but let me show you something. Um, the canvas blocks. I've been looking. Why? Why are you guys falling through? The canvas blocks, how to make those. Uh, it's pretty simple. You just need paper, go around, and then you need one fence post in the middle, and that creates nine canvases blocks from the open blocks mod, which is really super cool. Uh, and I'm just going to not do that right now. Uh, but that's how we're going to paint the, um, the building over there. We're going to tear down all that cobblestone that, that we don't want, that we want to paint, and then the other cobblestone will stay that we do want to, that we, we'll tear down the cobblestone that we want to paint, then we'll replace it with canvas blocks, there we go. And the cobblestone that we do want to keep there, we'll just leave it there. So there you go. Yeah! Yeah! Alright, anyways. So, uh, I don't have any new mail, because it doesn't say I, you've got mail, so... Kira's probably just leaving me alone, because she sees I'm obviously busy. Um, uh, for some reason, and I believe it's because all the villagers that came aboard are on the other side of the wall. They're protected, but on the other side of the wall, these guys go instantly over there. <clears throat> so I'm thinking that, uh, once I establish... Once I establish something here, uh, we'll be able to get things going. Now, I'm playing Minecraft music in the background. You can hear it. I don't know if you can hear it or not. I may cut it out because uh, I want to give a, you know, I want to give a, a little bit of nostalgia, you know? So, <clears throat> sorry, I got something in my throat. <clears throat> Let's talk about what we've done. <clears throat> Hold on real quick. Okay, sorry about that. <clears throat> uh, uh, what we've done is, is uh, the conveyor belts are pretty easy, by the way. Super easy to make. The way you make the rubber bars is through smelting rubber, uh, raw rubber from the rubber trees. And then um, you just basically have iron and two redstone. And it's 
you get 16. I mean, it's just super cheap, easy to make. Um, and that's the reason why I don't like changing recipes, because it's easy to make. Anyways, uh, so what the conveyor belt does is it's going to grab... Well, it won't grab these guys. Get out of here. But it's going to grab monsters, okay? Most of the time... Okay, here we go. I'm going to grab these monsters, okay? And as these mon... Whoa! Okay! Calm down. Calm your sugar tits there, buddy. Um, why is there a villager down there? But they're going to fall into the... God dang it! They're going to fall in that hole as soon as jerk off there decides he's going to fall. Or when one of them dies or something like that. Which is pretty, pretty weird because he's not falling. I may have to change that up a little bit. There we go. Now they're going back. Boom. Okay. I heard a strange noise. Something didn't sound right. Am I... Okay. It sounded like a villager had been converted or something. Anyways, um, the direction that you place that you're facing will be the way the the conveyor belts roll. So, there's that. What the hell? Really? Why are you not dead? Why are you no dead? Get out of here. Uh, so, yeah, see how they're piling up in here. But uh, it's real easy to change the, 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 way, uh, the way the angle is. You take a precision hammer, which I'm just going to demonstrate for you real quick. And then we'll get started. Uh, you take your precision hammer, and you just right-click on it. And then... Oh, back up. Oh, I'm stuck. It got me. Okay. Right-click, and then you right-click again, and there you go. That's as easy as it gets. Can't get any easier than that. I did try making the conveyor belt. I think it's from Extra Utilities. Uh, the problem is, is it costs way too much to make. So, yes. There is that little problem, but on to what I had, <clears throat> what I had planned today, which is we're going to make that room below where all the where all those monsters are over there. Uh, we're going to make a killing room as soon as I can get down. And I made a teleporter to it. Aha! We did have somebody in here. I knew it. Damn idiots! Ow! Really? You really want to do this? Get out of here. Big fat jerk. Eh. Okay. I'll take all that back. Thank you very much. Uh. Alright. So. Uh, as you see, the, the monsters here are just pretty much here. And I have water pushing them. So you can just basically kill. Go on a killing spree. They all have one one heart, so you don't have to waste your your um, your uh, your uh, your weapon durability. Now the problem I have is this is too sh uh, not far enough down um, because of the mere fact I was busy trying to get villagers in. I actually used the conveyor belt system to pull all the villagers in. Which was super easy, to be honest with you. And uh, so this was just kind of like last minute, oh my god, I've got to do something kind of deal. So we're not actually going to stay here, uh, but this is going to be my, the teleport point where we'll actually go down further. So uh, what I like to do is I like to mark the area that I'm going to be wanting to get to exactly. And we'll just say uh, monster drop best way to say it confirm all right and then there's our monster drop area right there so i know when i hit that square in the, on the map i know i need to stop what i'm doing uh, the next thing is is we need to kind of pick this up i already know the frequency so we're okay there and uh we need to go ahead and replace this one and this one and then we're going to replace it with the birch wood because birch, you know I want something that looks good you know I want something that looks good uh, here's the part that I don't think is gonna be 
pretty entertaining is burning through all of this cobblestone or stone uh, because it's just boring number one and number two uh, it's just boring to me it's boring I don't know maybe not to you but to me it's boring so uh, what I'm gonna do is, is I'm just gonna go about halfway with you and then we're gonna stop and we're going to uh, I need to take this uniform off because believe it or not I'm actually really wonky when I have to mine it's like super bad my mouse is super sensitive I have no idea why my mouse would be so super freaking sensitive uh, blah, 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 controls uh, no, that's not it. Hold on. You know how long it's been since I've had to change my mouse? A really long time. Wow, I've got... I can't remember how to do it. That's kind of sad, isn't it? Uh... Wow. I thought it was in control. Okay, yeah, okay. Invert mouse, no touch mouse. Sensitivity is 100%. Let's drop that down to 69, my favorite number. And let's try that. That's a little bit. A little bit better. It's more realistic. Yeah, it's a, more, a little bit more realistic. Could be also the mirror mat mount of fucking villagers up top is actually slowing down my uh, my PC, which I hope that's not the case. Uh, if not, some of the villagers are just going to have to move somewhere else. Uh, but yeah, there's that. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, we're just going to make a little stairway and we're just going to stay in this area for now. And then we'll use our hammer to uh, do the rest of the work for us, which basically is just building a, a hallway. I love building larger hallways than what I actually need because it feels better. It just feels better. And this is the honest truth. I always build a staircase first and then apply a teleporter. The reason why is because I don't want to lose anything. It could be also because that damn power unit's running. That could be it too. I didn't think about that. Uh, but anyways, uh, so yeah. Uh, so how's your day been? I hope it's been good. I don't normally do episodes with building uh, or, or digging. So, um, you know, if you like it, let me know. If you don't, eh, it's okay. You know, at least we're trying something different. Ah, there's that lovely sound. I gotta make a point for that too. You know what? It might be the damn power station causing that problem. Ooh, dang it. It might just be that. Let's see. How do I want to do this? Um, we'll keep going down. Well, we got, actually, you know what in reality what I need to do? This is like a bad thing to do in Minecraft. But what are we at? We're at 59? Um, if we go down to level 40, if we go down to level 40, we might be okay. No, we better do, yeah, 40, 40 should be fine. So don't ever dig down. That's the Minecraft rule. Do not dig down. So we're going to go down to level 40. Alright, we're at level 40. Cool. Uh, I can't, I don't want to put a, uh, a whatchamacallit here, a lamp just yet because the, my hammer will just knock it out because you can't see shit. I literally can't see anything. I'm just using the the walls as my guide. Okay, I think I I think I have three. All right, so uh, remember, all these tools can be made with Tinker's construct. Do keep that in mind. All right, so that should be enough room where I won't accidentally hit something. So we'll just put a lamp right there. Oh, perfect. Good. And I'm still, still a little. I it feels sluggish. Okay, it just feels sluggish, and it could be that my uh, 
that my PC needs to be restarted. Sometimes that happens if you're running, you know, all this, all this programs that I have on right now. So we're gonna turn that back on. Float back up to the top, or float back up to the top, I should say. All right. Ooh, and I'm bleeding. I bled. Look at that. I bled. Not my time of the month, but I bled. So let's see. This is the staircase right here. So if we go like this, we sh get, get a good hallway. The reason why I, I like making large hallways is because, you know, if you want to add something on later on, you can. And uh, it's always nice to have that. I One of these days, I'm going to need to get like one of my weapons or one of my tools to where they are... Um, uh, they have the modifier that automatically cooks things, or you know, like furnace or smelts things. There we go. I love these lamps. They're so awesome, and the, the way you make them is so easy, just so easy. Cause I got a buck ton of of, of uh, iron, just a buck ton of it. So, uh, and then I don't want to make the area where we're killing too big, because. To be truthful with you, I didn't count. I should have counted. Ooh, bad white, bad, bad planner. Who the hell's the hole? Oh, here it is. Okay. How far did I go back? All right. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay. So from the hole, we've got one, two, three, four, five. Six. Oh, that's right, almost. And seven. All right, cool. I don't think this pickaxe can break that, and I don't have my diamond pickaxe on me, which sucks. But that's okay. We'll we'll get back to it later on. Uh, the slabs are actually here to stop spawnage. Um, while the chandeliers are super easy to make, yeah, my turns are just like really. Bleh. I don't know what's going on here, uh, but it's to help the spawnage. Or stop spawning, I should say. Uh, because it's just a pain in the ass to deal with it. And uh, this is the reason why I like Fly. Because it's much more easier for you to do, you know, uh, a build or, or digging or anything like that. When all you gotta do is just fly. So, uh, if you if you play regular vanilla Minecraft, it gets really complicated. Because you've got to figure out waterways and all this other BS stuff that you have to go through. And, um... You know, at least with this, you just fly. You just fly over shit. It's wonderful. And it's nighttime, so <clears throat> if we see any monsters, we'll probably see them up top. Uh, as far far down as we are, um, we may or may not. I don't know. Uh, so, all right. So we've got a nice hallway here. I gotta find the hole again. It's right there. Come on, go up. Huh. Okay. Alright. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. So we are right on top of where we want to be at. And unfortunately, I didn't bring enough lamps. That's my fault. Yeah, the game is running sluggish for some reason. I'm going to have to reset my computer after this. But I just wanted to show you, you know, try something a little different with you guys. Let you guys see that, hey, it's not all just like, hey, here's what I did. You actually can see why I, I go, hey, here's what I did off camera, because it's completely boring, of just me digging, isn't this exciting, you know, it's that, that kind of deal, even though some people do love it, and I, I know it's a let's play, and you're supposed to show all your stuff, and blah, 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 and, you know, but there comes a point when it's just like, let's plays get kind of boring, you know, I do like the, the style of, of many YouTubers now, uh, many YouTubers now who use uh, you know let's plays as okay here's what I'm here's what we're gonna do and then they kind of like edit it it looks good it sounds good it makes good uh, theory but in a long story it kind of alienates you from what the youtuber did where I, if I just come in and say hey okay here's what I did here's what I built you know at least you can say okay well he he built that he told us he was gonna build it and he went and built it, and now he's telling us it's done. So there you go. Alright, so I actually need to take this, this, 
this. And do that. Like I said, I love making the hallways first. Technically, this is what I, you were supposed to do before you uh, dig down. You can also make a waterway, but you better make damn sure you got enough buckets. You know, you make damn sure you got enough buckets. Uh, so we're not even partially to where the actual hallway is, which is fine. In actuality, I can go F3. Let's see, we're at 51, so we are nowhere near the where we need to be, which is fine. This is what we wanted. Uh, okay, then that's where I've been getting a lot of ender pearls too. Oh god, are we full already? Son of a bitch. We are. Huh. Alright, let's just dump this in here. We'll dump the villagers in here. These gravestones. I'm not very pleased with gravestone right now. Uh, gravestone is not working properly for some reason. It's not it's not keeping my stuff in a grave per se. You know. So I'm not happy with that. All my stuff's still out when I come back and I'm dead. Or I've died, which I haven't died recently, which I'm pretty proud of, you know, because this is a let's play of you will die again, you know, it's toted on you will die, so just, you know, be happy that you're able to live the time you can. I'll come back for all the ores and stuff later. Right now, this is the most important part, so. Uh, I did become a new YouTuber, or new YouTuber, I did become a new subscriber to uh, Remix. Uh, Tales 10 or Jose from uh, from Minecraft uh, Super Minecraft Daily. Um, he looks like he. Oh, there we go. He looks like he could uh, he could be a good YouTuber. I think. You know, he wants to do it for a living, so that's even better. You know. So, yay us! We are so smart. We got we got here to our location. Hippy kippy ki ay yay! I don't want to use the smooth stone. Uh, and this is the back. Oh, I love back this backpack mod. Cause this backpack mod is just so cool. You can just have bags within bags, and it's just oh, you don't realize how much space management you need in some of these some of these mod packs, you know. And space management is a big deal. Trust me. Okay, my mouse is like really slow. Let me do something about that. I thought I could. I thought I could get away with 69. Let's try 90%. I just don't want that, that blur effect, you know? Yeah, it's a little bit better. Not a lot, but it's a little bit better. I can live with it. Alright, so we're going to go four deep here. And then a wall this way. Get some good, good distance from the stairs. Again, I know I have a teleporter in my hand. But the idea here is to build your doorway, your hallway first. So if something does happen, you can access this place pretty easy. Now, as far as getting here from up top, that's something I'm working on. I don't know if I want to do an inner area in the city. Or if I want to, uh... Ah. Yeah, I'm off by one, damn it. Uh, or if I want to, uh do like a an outside area where the only way to get in is to go outside kind of deal because some of these villagers are just stupid they're just dying for no reason it's ridiculous um that message keeps popping up and i've looked over and the only thing that is not uh up to date is the wireless redstone from code chicken but every time i try to do it 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 messes with my with my Minecraft, and you don't mess with my Minecraft. Nobody messes with the Minecraft. All right, so we got that. And we might leave this open. We might need it for something later on. All right. So yeah, we found it. Okay, cool. All right. So the idea for this area is going to be we're going to use birch wood for the floor, and then we're going to change that. We're going to change. We're going to paint the walls. Okay, we're gonna paint the walls, and then we will uh, we'll have to clear out all the the monsters from the vendor or from the belt, which is easy. We just block it, and then they can't uh, they can't come in. And then after that, we uh, will uh, have to figure out a system for transporting items. Um, there is 
And then this, again, this is all running theory here. Ender.io has this. The dimensional tra transceiver? Uh, I think Open Blocks has one too. Is it, yeah. But let's look at what it costs to make. So we need fused quartz, which I haven't gone to the nether yet, so. We need the ender crystal, which. Um, we need a vibrant crystal. The soul valve. Wow. Okay. Obviously, this is a hard one. <laughs> um, and I think it's extra utilities that has the uh, what you call it. I'll find it here shortly. Give me just a minute. Uh, if it's in here, it may not be this one. And the ender quarry. It's not what I want. I do need to make some of these muffler sounds to muffle out the sound of all the animals. So that's going to be something that's going to be fun. Okay, so it's not an extra utilities it appears. I thought it was though. Hmm. So it's not extra utilities. So is it in open blocks? Let's find out. Open blocks. Oh, all one word. Um. Wow, that may be the only way we can go. Because I'm not seeing the other one that I was on Attack of the B team that I had. Oh, damn. So we may have to go that route. What is that? XP Bobber. Okay. Huh, okay. And I don't think there's a trans Let's see. Fully transporter, no, we know what those are. DNA transmuter, no. Yeah, it looks like this is the only one we gotta go by. And this is gonna take electric steel. Oh my god. How do you make electric steel? I need pulverized coal, silicone, and iron. Okay, that's easy to make. How do you make the Ender Renaissance? You need slice and splat splice. Oh, oh. And you need silurium. So I have things kind of vibranium alloy. How the hell do you make vibranium alloy? Oh my god. There's a lot of stuff. Wow, okay, so that is going to be our only means of transport, but uh, I've played with this thing before, and let me tell you, uh, if you can supply power to it, which if I can make another one of these, and it can supply power to the one that's transporting items, which is amazing. Um, it It's just so clean, it works so good, it's just awesome. So, oh my god. Just take care of this. So, uh, yeah, I'll be working on that off camera because that's a lot of stuff. Oh, my God. That's a lot of stuff, man. That's a lot of stuff. But I think it'll be well worth it in the long run. Uh, because once once I build one and I build, build, keep building them, um, there is something that I could use. Uh, it's a blueprint system where... I can just like say okay make this and I have the material it will automatically do it but that's a little cheap for me not cheap per se but just like lazy I mean I'm all about lazy trust me but especially when it comes to Minecraft um, but I, I, I just don't I don't like that so I may not do that I need to get a show out Oh, wow, look at that. We're getting flint continuously with a hammer. It must be because I have fortune on it. I bet you that's what it is. I've been using the hell out of this thing, too. Oh, not that one. I'm using the hell out of it. Will it do the same thing with the pickaxe? Yeah, it will. Look at there. Okay. Alright. So, it does take a little while, but, man, once you start getting all your tools and stuff going, life gets good. You get good, kid. You get good. 
in actuality, I need to make one more hole like that. And the reason why is because when I put stairs here, um, the stairs will poke out, and I don't want them poking out. I want it. I want it to be. I want the fluid look. You know. Uh, so let's see. I'm gonna break this. Uh, I haven't really done anything with the building, my uh, my new building, right now because I'm just trying to. I mean, this came up and it was like, oh god, I better do something because like I got my ass whooped continuously. Actually, the stairs are gonna be right there, so I don't really need to do that. Um, the only axe I have right now is the lumber axe, and I think it's complicated, really complicated. All right, so that'll be like that. Okay. And then we'll go around like this. So I brought all this slabs with me. Mirror, mirror. Uh, I am going to be probably looking into getting uh, some Mine Factory Reloaded stuff going too uh, in the near future. And probably moving the power plant down in the ground. And the reason why is because uh, it's just easier and it's no not as noisy and it's not as messy. So, uh, me and Mr. Oil Man are